Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is a part three video of our SQL interview questions. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the first question was you know, related to rank. Okay, so the rank is a very important function in terms of SQL. You can expect multiple questions on rank topic. So this is basically a window function that lets you find rank on the measure that you are trying to specify. So for that, I've taken uh, our standard EMP table here and I'm trying to find rank for my salary here. Okay, so that is why this is the standard syntax that we can use rank over order by salary. So I, I am not complicating it by adding multiple things within my rank function. I'm simply giving a very basic statement. So at least this part you should be able to remember in the interview okay so i have taken employee number i have taken employee name i have taken department number and salary okay now if i run this it will give me rank for my salary see 5000 is the highest rank that we have got so it has got the first rank likewise if you observe the salaries where the salary is same and observe the rank so here for Ford, we have got 3000 and for Scott also we got 3000. Rank is repeating here, right? Next rank, if you see uh, 2975 we have. So after two, we should technically get three, but it is giving four because one time three, it has repeated. So that a difference you need to observe when you are using the type of rank you are using. Okay, so when it comes to rank, you always need to you know be clear like what type of rank function you are using. It can be your rank, it can be your dense rank, you know, it can be your rank percentile, or it can be a rank unique. Okay, so here this is a simple rank, okay, which is skipping the next number whenever it is repeating, right? But if I use dense rank, so same thing it will follow. You know, I'm taking same field here, employee number employee name, department number, salary, but instead of rank, I'm using dense rank here. Okay, same again, order by salary descending. Okay, I'm giving it a name as rank within department. Now, if I run this, now observe, okay, 5,000, same as it is 3,000, as it is second rank, 3,000 second, but here 2975 has got third rank earlier when we executed only rank function we got fourth because it was skipping the next rank so in the, when you are using dance dense rank it will not skip the rank that is what you need to remember and answer in interview if he is asking what is the difference between rank and dense rank okay how rank will work okay so which rank you need to use based on your use case you can write the same thing again to confuse you he might ask what is row number Again, this is also a window function which will let you find the row number, okay? So what are we doing here? We are trying to find out row number here, simple. Okay, same type of calculation or syntax we have for each of this. Rank, I'm using same rank over, bracket open, order by salary descending, okay? Simple rank over, dense rank over, order by salary descending. Row number, over order by salary descending. Now, if I execute this, this is simply a number, row number here. It is irrespective of what is there in the order, okay? So it doesn't matter. It will just generate the row number. So 14 records we have, so you'll get 14 records. That is how it works, okay? Simple, very simple, okay? So that's about uh, rank, dense rank, and the row number that we have run. Next is what is partition by? Okay, again, very important, you know, uh, what you call syntax or the part of the syntax that we can use. So, so far we learned that, you know, row number, rank or dense rank are the window functions. Now, when you want to partition your data or group your data into some parts, you can use this function or part of function called as partition. Okay, now here, if you observe our rank, we have not partitioned by anything. So that is why, it was giving us the rank on the whole, right? But say, assume you want to group it per department and you want to find ranks within the department, then how will you do, okay? So simply we can write 
సేమ్ ఎంప్లాయీ నంబర్ నేమ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ నంబర్ అండ్ శాలరీ ర్యాంక్ ఓవర్ సో పార్టిషన్ బై డిపార్ట్మెంట్ నంబర్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ వాట్ ఆర్ వీ డూయింగ్ వీఆర్ గ్రూపింగ్ ఆల్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ టుగెదర్ అండ్ దెన్ ఫైండింగ్ ద ర్యాంక్ ఫర్ దెమ్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ ఐ రన్ లైక్ దిస్ నో యూ సీ మై ర్యాంక్ విల్ స్టార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫస్ట్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ సో హియర్ టిల్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మై స్టార్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ అగైన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ట్వంటీ ఇట్ ఈస్ స్టార్టింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ again department 30 it is starting from 1 now again you can use rank or you can use a dense rank and all so this type of statement will help you in finding out you know getting the something you can write uh, i mean can be asked in a similar line uh, get me or write a query to find first top rank in each department okay or write a query to find top second rank in each department now you can write it in the comment section how can you write this query okay so the base of that we have established today so simple you need to use a where condition on top of this and get it so you can simply write rank within department is equal to 1 or is equal to do whatever you want you can get it okay so this can be you know uh, what you call optimized according to a situation uh, scenario okay but this part is very important for you to remember so you can write let's say four to five times for this to remember so that you don't get confused in the interview next question that was asked was write a query to get max salary for each department now this is something that it should be known by any sql developer who is using so very basic statement select department number maximum salary from employee because i am using an aggregate function i'm just doing a group part group by department number now when i run that it will give me max salary for each department so these are the five questions that, uh, for today okay i'll be bringing up with another questions in the next video stay tuned and if you are new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and do share your valuable uh, comments in the comment section see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day